So, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Carol here with Reiko and Anne. Hello, everyone. I hope you've all had a nice day today, and I hope we're going to add to it. Now, can I introduce Reiko riding her coloured horse, Comanche? Comanche show jumps. Um, after doing his grid work, and he's learning very well, and he's doing nice in doing double clears out under rules. Anne is riding Guy, who you probably gathered is a Highland pony, and not normally the sort of pony you'd expect to see show jumping. However, he does do working hunter, and is thoroughly enjoying her show jumping, and he has a whale of a time. He doesn't think he's not a thoroughbred. He flings himself at things beautifully, and he loves it. So. If you think he's just a slightly unusual choice, you may be right, but he loves his jumping and he benefits from the grid work. Now, I'm going to start off with a very plain grid of five crosses, and if you've had a, a, a little bit of a layoff, if your horse hasn't, um, or is in fact a little bit rusty because you haven't had a chance to practice lately, this is exactly the sort of grid that you need to be using to get yourself back into, into the swing of things. If you ride it, smoothly and with enough leg to enough hand. It will be consistent. You won't rattle many poles. It's all going to look nice. If you don't have quite enough balance from your leg to hand to make the jumping springy and active, then you're going to rub a pole. And it's that rub of the pole that will let me and the rider know by this time exactly what's going wrong. So would you like to start, Anne? Left rein, please. Also, with these five crosses, you can, you'll be able to see how easy it is to build up to a combination of fences so that your horse can practice everything he might meet in the ring. Now, when it was very nice, but, and there's always a but with me, Anne, you well know that, when he went so well in, you just stayed a little bit forward and there was just that little lack of consistency. So keep the same position all the way, looking up. It's so easy when you're doing well to just relax and soften and you get a little bit forward and then you just don't quite get the spring. So we will come this time with spring all the way. Chin up, leg on, look where you're going and make sure that your contact is consistent. What you do at the first fence is what you need to do all the way through, as long as the first fence is a good one. Well done, that's better. Again, it's just that consistency. Have a breather. Reiko, would you be ready, please? We had a little practice with Comanche at home to make sure that he could cope with the length of the arena, because it is a little bit short for him. However, he does seem to enjoy it, so we, we thought he'd be well worth showing off. Now keep your leg on, Reiko, and push. It's very, it's very nice when they do it perfectly, but it doesn't give me a chance to point out what was wrong. Come again, Reiko, but we'll still have it perfectly. There's no way I'm going to ask you to do it badly to illustrate. Keep hold. Ah, Now, a little bit looking down on the corner, and again, when you're jumping a course, if you look down, if you don't keep your eye on the ball, if you don't keep looking and working, once more, please, dear, then you just have that slight inconsistency as you come into your fence, and you just need to look up. Lovely. And hold, hold, hold. And perfect canter all the way through. Lovely. Good boy, Comanche. That was really nice, dear. You held canter all the way. And I said, when you don't get the best of shots in, don't fret about it, you're practicing. If you make a, a mess in the ring, get your leg on, keep riding on a forward stride, and trust your horse to get you out of a pickle. They can't do it if you don't have your leg on, they can't get you out of a muddle if you let your rein go. And it's just practicing away in basically not being perfect. Just get down that grid and jump it. And if you need a little bit of uh, attention when you're going through there, we'll do it the next time. But they've both done it really well. Would you like to go the other way, please? Anne? So you've got to recognize it's not vital to be perfect. It's nice to be effective, and I'm very keen on effective. But get your leg on and push. 
as I said, Guy doesn't think he's not a thoroughbred. I think that will do, Anne. <laughs> There's a very keen little man there. Reiko, would you like to come? In a perfect world, he wouldn't have overjumped you in and you would have just had a little more contact to steady, but he's very clever, very neat, and at least you had the decency to hold your contact all the way through. Come when you're ready, please, Reiko. As you can see, you don't need to be perfect. Your horse isn't always going to be spot on in the ring. You need to practice riding him, whatever happens. And leg. Oh, very good. Very smart. Can we have, <laughs> can we have the arena party, please? Um, I'm going to build the grid gradually to form a combination because when you go to a show, I have so many people say to me, when we go out to shows, we have a muddle with a double, with a treble, with a related distance, and if you keep riding... Yes, that one away, please, Coco. Just at the side, lovey. Sorry, dear. No, 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 not for a minute, Joe. Not for a minute. That's super. So when, you, when you're practising, don't be in a rush. Build the grid up gradually. Give your horse a chance to show how he's working. Give, you, you give yourself a chance to practice working hard, not trying to make your horse jump. Busy, busy, busy. When you're ready, Reiko, you come first this time, please, dear. The bounces at the beginning should get your horse nice and active, and you should find that the non-jumping stride will be a single non-jumping stride. You've done it nicely with the bounce. It's just a question of having the same feeling, the same leg on into your contact. Once you get things right, don't let it slide. Keep doing the right things. Don't change it. When you've got impulsion, you can't get any more by wriggling and squiggling about. Oh, that's lovely. No more goes for you, Comanche. That was spot on. Well done, Reiko. And you see, the grid builds up confidence in your horse. He strolled through there and he, he, he just found it very easy. And I have to stress that he found it very easy because Reiko did exactly the same things as we did earlier. The way I like to train is when you're jumping, when you're ready, Anne, come when you're ready. The way I like to train is when you're jumping a small cross, I want full impulsion. And you can't get any more when the jumps get bigger, keeper. Oh. I promise you, sometimes these models are not just quite so good. That was lovely, dear. Absolutely lovely. Well done. Can we have the middle ones, please, girls? Just the middle one up and the cross away. And again, you can see how easy it is to just shift the jumps around. You need to take measure to get it set up so that the distances are accurate, because if you make a mess of your distances, you're not going to achieve the power and energy that you want. You, I'm very lucky, I have the poly jumps, jumps. They actually call them the Carol Mailer set because I'm such a nutcase about grid work. And I love them because they're easy to use. But you can see for yourself, you want a few poles, four or five pairs of wings, and you, you can do just what I'm doing here. It doesn't have to be posh, doesn't have to be expensive. Who's going first? Come on, shoo. I'll, I'll do the eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And again, whatever I build, I'm expecting the rider to come to the grid with the same amount of energy and power. Again, a very, very nice effort, Anne. This is not like Guy. I'm waiting to see one of those little temper tantrums, a little bit of a naughtiness. I guess he's decided he likes an audience. I think we'll have to arrange it next time we're working at home. He is just so loving it, isn't he? Just making sure, Reiko, that... Remember, Comanche yesterday was just slightly suspicious about the audience, so have your leg on. It's very, very difficult for a horse that isn't used to working in a crowd to keep coming. Oh, little bit of a stretch, Reiko. Did you all notice Comanche went, oh, at the second and the third? So we'll come with a little bit more leg. You don't do more leg but you don't do less. And it wasn't quite as strong as the first time. That's better. Lovely. 
I must say, girls, you're doing extremely well with your shoulders today. Both these riders, when we work, I'm often saying, will you keep your inside shoulder up? And I think, I think the lesson's gone home because they are. I'm not going to ask them to do it wrong, but if, and you'll see very well from there, but if you come through the grid and you just start to ease your inside shoulder to turn, then mostly you're going to land either on the wrong lead or disunited. But I'm not going to ask them to do it wrong. I'm just pointing out that if they started to lean and be slovenly, it wouldn't go quite so well. <laughs>